Just a quick video on an attempt at a two element beam, vertically polarised, more or less, for 10 metres. As the driven element, I'm using a dual band 6 and 10 metre dipole that I described in a previous video. It's a linked dipole, so the section for 6 metres is shorted to the outer portion that's for 10 metres only. About 1.8 metres or so behind it is a parasitic element. About 4.7 metres end to end. That's a bit short because the intention is that that's a director. However, across the middle is an inductance. That has a reactance of around 90 ohms. The switch shorts the inductor for when you're using it as a director and puts it in circuit when you're using it as a reflector to electrically lengthen the element. Right now it's set up as a reflector. A quick look at a diagram for the antenna. This is the driven element and here's the parasitic element. 2.35 metres aside. At the centre of the parasitic element is a 0.5 microhenry coil. I'm using 11 turns on a iron powder toroid, a T50-6. There's a switch wide across it, so it is electrically slightly shorter than a half wavelength when you're using it as director, about 5% shorter, and when you're using it as a reflector, it's electrically a bit longer. I got the inductance value from something that M0MCX had. He described something similar, but for 40 motors. The inductor used there was 2 microhenry, so I just used 1 quarter that value. Another variant that I haven't tried is you could make the parasitic element longer, say 2.6, 2.7 metres aside, then it would be a reflector, and you could potentially switch in a capacitor, possibly around 68 picofarad, and that would electrically shorten the element and make it a director. I haven't tried it but other people have and that's another option for you. Some people have used these arrangements. If you don't want to go to the trouble of putting up a beam rotator at home then you could have something like this and a remote relay and get instant beam reversal. So you could switch to say short path versus long path without having to turn a rotator. This is receiving a vertically polarised beacon with just the half wave vertical dipole. I'm holding the reflector, the coil is switched in so it's electrically longer and we'll see what effect it has. You might be able to hear, it's a little bit stronger. I'll just move the element. That's just the dipole. That's with the reflector. That's the dipole. That's with the reflector. Now I've just moved it right near and it's faded out quite a lot. That's just the dipole. 
That's the reflector. Now, I'll flick the switch so the inductor is switched out. It's shorted across. So the parasitic element is shorter, forming a director. Bearing in mind, the beacon is in that direction. So the director shouldn't make any difference. This is with the director. This is with just the dipole. Dipole, director. There appears to be no difference. Now we'll just switch it back to the reflector. And this time, you can hear a difference with this setup as a reflector. Next thing we'll do is we'll move the parasitic element in front of the driven element and see if there's an effect. This time, it should be behaving as a director with no difference or even a weaker signal if it's switched to reflector mode. I've kept the driven element in the same place, but I've moved the parasitic element in front of it. Here, I've got the parasitic element in reflector mode. If anything, it's stronger when the reflector is removed rather than when it's in, which is what we want. Now the moment of truth, we'll now try it in director mode. This is it set up as a director. This is with the director horizontal, so it's basically out of the circuit. This is just the dipole. This is the director. This is just the dipole. This is it as a director. This is with the beam.
places with the dipole. And this is with the beam, with the director. Back to the dipole. Next thing we'll do is transmit some whisper. We'll try some bursts with the beam up and some bursts with just the dipole. The only station receiving whisper at the time I did these tests was VK3KCX, about 30 kilometers to my northeast. I was beaming north and generally the report I got was plus five dB. When just using the dipole, it bounced around a bit, but was typically around zero dB. Although at times it was plus three. The worst with the beam was plus one. So there was one case where the beam was weaker than the dipole. But if we look at the averages, the beam does seem to be a little bit better. Overall, the beam like this did seem to make a small improvement. However, given that you're doubling the weight of your antenna you're taking, that's two poles instead of one, as well as more wire, and the setup time is a bit longer with extra anchor points for the wire, I don't think it's really worth it. On the other hand, if you're trying other bands like 20 meters and you're after DX, then something like this arrangement might work well for you.